Have you ever seen a boy in a dress before? Have you ever? Let's read this book. The boy in a dress by David Williams together. So there was a boy named Dennis. He lived in a normal house, in a normal town, in a normal country. So he lived with his dad, his mom, and his older brother, John. But then one day his mom left because his dad and his mom argued with each other. So when his mom left, Dennis felt very lonely and sad because his mom just left. So he managed to keep the picture of his mom. So when he goes to bed, he will look at it and imagine him and his mom hugging each other and something like that. So Dennis goes to school, like a normal school, and he has all his friends and Dennis really likes soccer and he is the number one striker in his school. So one day he meet a girl named Lisa and he and she invited him to her house. So when he goes to her house, she said that I have some dress and I have some fashion comic that you like to read because Dennis like football and he like fashion and he like dress so he really enjoy it so they sit and talk with each other for a long long time and then lisa decided to try on some new dress that she made by herself so that dennis could try them on and so she can look at her beautiful dress so dennis is like he feels strange wearing a dress but he soon get used to it and he liked wearing a dress so lisa said that now we can go out to the street and see if you can if anybody can recognize you so lisa put some makeup on dennis face put a wig on him and then put a dress on him so that they can walk out the street and then they enter some shop and the people said wow it's just nice and she looks so nice and stuff like that and Pretty much like Dennis, when he's in a dress, he looks much like a girl, not a boy. So that day, Dennis disguised himself as a girl, and then he goes to school with Lisa to see all of the people's reaction about, about how Dennis looks. So all of the boys said, oh, this new girl looks so cute, she looks so nice, and all the stuff like that. And Dennis proved right felt very happy and because of the boys and all the people were looking at him and then his headmaster found out he was the boy and the headmaster said that how dare you become a girl how dare you dress up as a girl and enter my school and you didn't even wear the school uniform how dare you and then he just expelled the boy so Dennis like felt really sad and he just sit in his room all day long so then his school has a football league and it is the final but Dennis is expelled out of school so he can't join the match so he's he missed the match but he is the number one striker in the school so the team need him to win the match and then pretty much his school was lead by his opponent 6-0 so they need a great combat to win the game so they need Dennis because Dennis is the number the number one striker so it is only he can equal the goals so his friend come to his house and say that we need you to join in the final because we are lead 6-0 and the second half is about to start so we need you so Dennis just Dennis just agreed and go on the football pitch and then Lisa have an idea she dress off the teammate of Dennis into dresses and everyone is wearing dress even the boys so they go on the pitch and start playing soccer and the headmaster says to the how dare you boys wear dressed in my school how dare you i will expel you all but then they just keep playing and finally their school wins the cup yay and dennis realized that he wasn't different from anyone else so he felt really happy and that day his dad dennis dad 
come to watch the match. And he said that, yeah, that's my son. I'm proud of him. Yeah, that's my son. Look at my son. So when Dennis is back home with his dad, his dad said that, I'm sorry for how I treated you or how I burned off your magazine. I'm so sorry, son. So the family just hugged each other and his brother, John, joining. So the next day, Dennis walked to school happily with his brother, John, and they were side by side like this. So yeah, that is the end of this book called The Boy in the Dress. So the book is kind of thin, so I just finished it today, and I rate it, hmm, I rate it like a 9 out of 10 because it is so good, fun, and interesting book to read. So I recommended this book for you guys. So yeah, that is the end of this video, and I hope you guys liked my video. Please leave a like and subscribe to help my channel reach out. Once now, that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and bye-bye.